Hey dolls, welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody is doing great today. So what I have decided to do is to do a tutorial using the chocolate gold palette from Too Faced. I have had this palette for a little while now, but I must say that I use it very, very often. So I thought, oh, let me just create a whole look. You know, so if anybody is purchasing this palette, or if anybody has this palette and they want some other ideas or things that they could do with it, I thought I would do this tutorial for you guys. I love how it turns out. I hope you guys enjoy it too. So if you want to see how to achieve this look, then carry on watching. And before you leave guys, just hit that notification bell and hit that subscribe button. I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys for watching. If you're gonna watch it till the end, and I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Hey dolls, so today I thought I would do a tutorial on the chocolate gold palette. Yeah, and this palette has, it's just been so good to me. I actually love this palette. I use it for a lot, a lot of looks. So I thought that I would do a tutorial using just one palette today, and it's going to be the chocolate gold palette. So let's see what I can cook up and create, and I hope you guys love it. So we are going to start off with the brows. I'm going to be using the Precisely My Brow Pencil from Benefit. So let's get these brows done. So I'm going to just conceal under my brow. Lately I've been using the MAC Cream Pot in NC42 Concealer under my brows. Yeah, I normally use my LA Girl Cosmetics to do my concealer on my brows, but lately, this is what your girl's been doing. Okay. So we are going to use the tape method again today. What can I say? I'm a sucker for a sharp eyeshadow look. This is just some any tape I took out the door. I think this is called scotch tape. It's not like cellar tape, it's a lot thicker. Yeah, and I just use that. So we are going to start off with the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Palette. So I think I'm gonna create like a brown, smoky, glitter look from this palette. I think this palette will definitely deliver on a fire look. First and foremost, I'm gonna prime my lids. I'm going to be using the P. Louise Bay Rima 03. P. Louise Base in Rima 03 to prime my lids. Gonna grab me a flat brush. Gonna grab a fluffy blending brush and I'm going to go into Cocoa Truffle. This is the darkest brown that's in the palette. It looks quite light, but I have to say it does come out quite deep on the lids. So we're gonna go in with that right at the corner. We're gonna start here. You see, it's not, it looks a lot lighter in the palette than what it does on your actual eye. So now we're going to grab another brush and I am going to go into So Bougie. So Bougie is this light brown here. It's really, really light, quite a delicate colour, but it's nice to blend with Cocoa Truffle. So I'm going to just start bringing that over in the crease, but still blending it in with Cocoa Truffle. So what I'm going to do is go back into the palette and go into Decadent, which is this black here. It's not a very intense black, which is what I like about it. It's quite soft, so, because sometimes when it's too black, it's just too much. So yeah, I like that it's quite a soft black. So I'm just tapping that right in the corner. Okay, so then I'm gonna just grab the same brush that I used in Cocoa Truffle. Just gonna dab a little bit, and then I'm just gonna go back and just Bring it a bit more forward here, but also blending it back with that black. Then I'm gonna go back in with So Bougie, which is the lightest brown. And then I'm just gonna just try and seal that all together. Okay, 
the first part of that is done. So I'm going to do a half cut crease. Grab my HD concealer. It's the lighter concealer that I have, so I'm gonna just use that to cut my crease with. I'm going to go back in with Cocoa Truffle and I am going to just try and just blend that crease that I just cut with the eyeshadows that I was using. I'm going to go into Rolling Enzo, which is this light cream colour here. I always use this in the arch of my brows, or if I wanted to lighten this crease that I just cut as well. Okay, so I've used the same colour that I just used on top of my lid, my cut crease, in my under my brow bone. I love that colour for highlighting under my brow bone. Well, not highlighting, but just to make the eyebrows look extra sharp. I'm going to highlight under my brow bone when I'm highlighting the rest of my face, but I love doing that little step there. Okay, so I think I'm going to go in to gold dipped, looks like. Now, I haven't sprayed my brush or anything like that. Just going to pop it on. It's a really pretty gold that I've just used called gold dip. That's what it looks like here. And I just popped it on top of the crease that I just cut and I love what it is saying and what it is doing so far. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a little bit of cocoa truffle again. I just want to smoke it out as much as I possibly can. So I'm just going over a little bit of the gold where the gold meets the brown. Blending them two together and I'm using cocoa truffle to do that. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do my wing. I'm going to use my NYX Vinyl Liner. I'm going to pop on my Lux Beauty Essential Lashes because my eyeliner is done. Okay, so I've got my lashes on and these eyelashes did not come to play, honey. Yes, I love them. Very full. Yes, yeah, long, fluffy. Mm. Okay, so that is done. We are going to take off the sticky tape. Yeah. Yes. Ooh. Love. Okay, dolls, we are going to move on to the face. The eyes are the done. Well, it's not fully done because I still need to do my lash line. But apart from that, the eyes are done. So I'm going to move on to the face. Let's start with primer. I'm going to be using the Angel Veil Primer from NYX Cosmetics. Couple dabs here. Just going to rub that in. Okay. So I prime my face. I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Born This Way in color caramel. That was a Mac Press Foundation, and that was in NW35. I always put that on after I put on my other foundation it just seals and locks it in it's like setting powder but with just an extra little top up on top next i am going to conceal of course so i'm going to use my mac concealer nc42 i'm going to use that first and i'm going to just pop that under my eye and i've told you guys the purpose of this concealer first because i'm also going to put that on other two concealers on is because i think this concealer has the most coverage out of all of the um concealers i'm going to use i really like this concealer and i really like the coverage that it gives for my under eye i'm just going to tap that in i'm not going to rub or swipe just tapping that in and then i'm going to add my la girl cosmetics concealer right here in cool tan i'm going to add that on top of what i've just done this concealer is lighter than the MAC concealer that I was using and I like this concealer, I like the applicator, I like how it goes on and I like the fluidity of it so it blends nicely and the last one is the HD concealer, this one's really light just for that extra lightness under my eye I just pop a little tiny bit on top before I start blending and then I'm going to use this cocoa, it's the same HD concealer that I've just used. That colour is in beige, this colour is in cocoa. I'm going to use this to conceal, to contour, sorry. I'm going to get my blender. And I'm going to start blending all that out. I 
I blend out the concealer first. Okay, then now I'm going to blend out the contour. And I do my contour quite high up on my cheek. I think it's because I have that like, really chubby cheeks. So I, I just don't think lower really benefits me that much. So I normally tend to go quite high when I'm doing, especially the liquid one. But as I always say about contour, you gotta do what best suits you. That's what you gotta do. Going to get in my setting powder. Yeah, guys. New product alert. New product alert, guys. I picked this up yesterday. I saw it and I couldn't resist. I've been thinking about purchasing this for a little while. But I just hadn't gotten around to it. So when I saw it and it was the mini version as well, I thought, oh, let me get that because then I could check it out to see how really good it is and I have to get the normal size packet. So this is a bronzer, it's a matte bronzer. So I'm going to use that to contour. So it came with this little cute little brush as well. So I'm going to. Do you know what, guys? I am actually obsessed with miniature things. I love mini versions of like everything. Well, almost everything. But I'm talking about like items and things like that. I love miniature stuff. I just think it's so cute. So I'm just tapping in the brush. And we are about to bronze and contour, baby. Yeah. I'm just brushing off the um, powder that I put earlier. Okay. It's quite subtle. I like that about it. At first I thought, oh, maybe it's a bit too light. To contour with but i actually quite like it it's quite subtle but i like it mm. so i'm just going to carve out these cheekbones honey and i'm going to be using the sasha buttercup powder to do that i mentioned this in my last video but i like using the sasha buttercup to carve out my cheeks because i don't think it's as intense as the lace um powder that i use the lace powder is quite light and I just think it looks too light after you brush it out. Like this area gets too light for me. I'm not really feeling that. So I've started using the Sasha Buttercup to highlight that area. And I use the Lace, um, the Revolution Lace Powder, which is this here. I use that for my under eyes and you know, these areas here, just because it's lighter. So that's what I like at the moment. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Okay. Ooh, cheeks. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so this concealer is from Makeup Academy and it's called Blush and it's a matte blush powder and it's in colour Rose Tea. So that's what I've just put on my cheeks. Next thing to do is to highlight. So I'm going to get my Revolution Makeup Revolution palette. I am going to go in with this colour here and I'm going to highlight with it. I'm going to use it as a highlight man. So I need to do my under eyes, we're going to go back in the chocolate gold palette. First colour I'm going to go into is Cocoa Truffle. That was the first colour we started with. So we're going to do the same with the under eye. And I'm going to start from the outer corner and blend inwards. So we're going to go into Decadent, which is the black. I'm just trying to blend out that black with Cocoa Truffle because I don't want it too intensely black underneath. I want that chocolatey colour. So then we're going to go back in that same colour that we used, which was gold dip. And I'm going to just put that right here. So I'm also going to do my bottom lashes and this is going to gather this whole eye situation together. I'm going to highlight here, here, wrap that in. Boop, boop, boop. Yes, I'm going to set my face. Okay, guys, I've got a new lip liner. I got this yesterday as well when I was doing Christmas shopping and I was supposed to be buying presents for others but I purchased this NYX professional makeup um, lip liner it's a slide on glide on stay on and that's what they say and this color is beyond nude so that's the color we're going to use today so it looks 
pop that on. And I'm going to use the Velvet Teddy lipstick from MAC, one of my faves. Wow, it actually just literally like blends in. Here's find my gloss. Mm. So on top of that, we're gonna put the butter gloss. This is from um, NYX Cosmetics. So we're gonna put that on top. Yeah, this color is in Angel Food, so we're gonna pop that on as well. Ugh, soft. Mm. Smells nice. 